I'm Larry Manti. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Here's a tip. Before you toss out that old painting that is buried up in the attic or put it out for a yard sale, you may want to think twice, especially after what happened to a New Jersey family. They were cleaning out the home of a deceased relative, and you won't believe what they found. You think a picture is worth a thousand words? As Jersey Matters reporter Vanessa Tyler reports, this picture was worth a million dollars. Hi, Larry. You know, sometimes you may be browsing at a yard sale or an estate sale, and you find something you pay a little and it's worth a lot. But what if you find a dusty old painting and it turns out to be a missing masterpiece? In this case, it turned out to be a missing Rembrandt. It's titled The Unconscious Patient, and many in New Jersey probably wanted to faint since the very valuable painting was right within their grasp. So the painting hung over here. John Nye of Nye & Company Auction House actually had the Rembrandt in his hands. He went to a Jersey home called by a family to check out the items their deceased relatives left behind. The family who chose not to be identified thinks the painting may have been passed down by a grandparent. No one had any idea its value. I went to a very modest house little Tudor style house. I ducked so as not to hit my head, <clears throat> went into a, a room in the cellar and there was a, a, a smattering of, of silver, sterling silver and things. There were some uh, pieces of pottery in, in rubber made tubs and there was a, a handful of photographs, paintings, excuse me, a handful of paintings that were just scattered around the room. One of the scattered paintings was dirty, couldn't see the signature, the paint slightly worn off, nondescript, and rather small. The panel was about this big, roughly 12 by 9 or so, and with the frame, it was about this big. So he brought it back to this Bloomfield-based auction house, hung it on the wall. For two weeks, it was on display with a price tag far below its worth. It was going up with an estimate of $500 to $800 and the opening bid was $250. Hard to believe, right? Then the description of a triple portrait went out online, attracting the sharp-eyed attention of three separate collectors, all from Europe. When we asked him how he found it, said, I spent six to eight hours a day scrolling through various websites, auction ca auction, online auction catalogs, hoping to find something that was misidentified. Another person said, I knew this painting was out there. I mean, I had a hunch this painting was out there. I've waited 20 years to find it. Still, no one here in Bloomfield knew what they had until the bidding began. The European collectors did their bidding by phone from Paris, and for John Nye, it became mind-blowing. So the bidding starts at 250, boom, 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 it's 10,000, 30,000, 50,000, and I'm thinking, Wow, didn't expect that. Then it got real serious. Sold for $870,000. Add in the fees called buyer's premium and the unconscious patient's final price was $1.1 million. One of the European bidders on the phone broke the news. And he said, you just sold a Rembrandt. The Rembrandt, which is now at the Getty Museum in California, is one of five the famed Dutch painter painted as a teenager when he was just starting out. The series, The Allegory of Senses, include the one found in New Jersey, the unconscious patient, that smell. There is touch, hearing, and sight. But there is one more still missing. And the only one missing is that of taste. Now everyone is looking closely at old art. Renee Newell wanted an appraisal on this landscape after hearing about the Rembrandt. That's what brought me in, and I have some other things at the house. I said, well, I might as well just come on in and see what, if anything else is valuable. Rosemary Diani says she is especially careful antiquing now. I have gone to a lot of auctions. Um, I think I have a pretty good eye. Um, but, I mean, even experts could be fooled. John Nye is really on the lookout since one more Rembrandt is out there somewhere. If you come across a painting about this big, and it's a triple portrait of ruddy-faced, uh, complected people, 
Call me. Larry, you just never know. The painting stuck in a relative's attic or basement may just be a work of art. For Jersey Matters, I'm Vanessa Tyler. Thanks, Vanessa. When we come right back, families dealing with the heartbreak of Alzheimer's in New Jersey. When Jersey Matters continues.